So hi everyone, today again we have Ayush with us, who you might remember from the previous video. So Ayush, would you like to introduce yourself to the new viewers? Hey everyone, this is Ayush. I'm a software engineer at Zepto. Uh, I've previously worked at Microsoft, uh, which I had joined after my college. I've interned at lots of organizations like Microsoft, Coinbase, and also startups like Anakin, Pocket FM. I like to talk about tech. I'm a fan of technology. I like to build software. So yeah, that's all about me. Right. And in this video, we're going to discuss the interview experience of Zepto that he is working at right now. So are you tell us your interview experience at Zepto? What all happened? How many rounds were there? What all was there? Yeah, surely. So I was working in Microsoft. I had like 1.5 years of experience there. Um, I think I got reached out by Zepto HR on LinkedIn. Uh, so I knew Zepto from uh, like from last two years. Uh, so when I was at Anakin, we used to discuss about the Zepto thing. At that time, it was like a really catchy thing. Like what are they building? 10 minutes delivery. It used to sound very unfamiliar. I was always sure that this is going to work. I somehow knew that this will work. So when the reach, recruiter reached out to me, I was like, yeah, hell yeah. I, I would love to work. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, th that way I think, yeah, I confirmed it. Then I gave an online uh, assessment. So it was three questions, um, three easy to medium questions, mm -hmm. but you have to do in one hour. Okay. So yeah, I was able to do it like very easily. After that, I got the next round, which was like a completely DSA round. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think they were asked two questions. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them was on binary search and the other one was on bit masking, but mm -hmm. it, it was not a very standard problem. It was like a little related to CP. So you have to optimize the approach, somehow uh, make it uh, lesser than n square, which was like the uh, initial approach you would come to. That went good. After that, there was this LLD round. Um, there they gave me a problem to design an e-commerce website, low level design. So you have to mention all the classes, all the relations, uh, the design patterns that you use, solid principles, all of that. That also I think went good. I missed a part, I missed an aspect, mm -hmm. but since uh, other than that, I covered all the things uh, like in a nice way. So uh, I think the interviewer viewer was fine with that. Last I had a hiring manager mm -hmm. round, which was like hiring manager round come system design mm -hmm. round. Okay. Basics of system design, like related to databases mm -hmm. and all, all of that. So yeah, that also really went well. I explained the project which I was working on on Microsoft, its design and all. Mm -hmm. So that went well and uh, in, a, in a day or two, they released the offer. They were like, yeah, you're selected and all. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was my interview experience at Zepto. Hi everyone, I hope all of you are finding this interview experience with Aditya helpful. And let me tell you, if you want to crack a high paying company like Zepto, Flipkart, Amazon, then you need to have hands-on experience about how scalable systems are built and about how these platforms handle millions and millions of users seamlessly. So if you want to crack the system design round of the top product based companies and you want to know how scalable systems are built, then you need to check out this free masterclass from Cryo about Netflix's streaming architecture in Next.js. So this will be an industry level deep dive where you'll learn how Netflix optimizes performance, reduces latency and scales to millions of people. Plus you'll code along and build your own streaming service using Next.js which is a perfect learning experience and you'll be getting hands-on along with this masterclass. So what are you waiting for? Go to the link in the description, register for it right away. It is free and it has limited spots. So mark your calendar for 21st of March, 8 p.m. and go to the link in the description and register now. Remember, it's completely free of course. Right, right. So suppose if anyone is going for Zepto's interview in a few days or you know someone is trying to crack Zepto, any advice you'd like to give specifically regarding Zepto? Yeah. So I think for Zepto, uh, you need to be fast in the online assessment. Mm. The problems will not be very easy. It just you have to do it like quickly. The quicker you do, the better. I think that way you'll be able to get shortlisted. Then in DSA and all, I think, yeah. Uh, so the problems that they asked to me, they were not exactly the standard problems you would find in sheets and all. So solving lead code contests uh, really helped me. And for LLD, it is not that tough at Zepto. Uh, mm -hmm. If you know design patterns, you've solved a couple of design pattern problems, uh, you will be good. Okay, and for HM and HLD, so since this was SD1 mm -hmm. position, like yeah. an entry level position, it was not into that depth. So if you just know the project that you were working on, it's high level design and you can like explain that to someone, I think that will be uh, good enough. So for solving problems at Zepto, I think sheets and DSA might not be enough. Uh, you should explore lead code contests, do problems which are which require problem solving, uh, not just the limited concepts. And yeah, other than that, uh, just focus on contests that will really help you, you know, become or make you differentiate mm. from the rest of the crowd. 
so yeah that's mm-hmm. all and apart from that it will also help you in cracking the way you know because under, unless you're practicing in quantis it will be very difficult to solve three medium hard problems in one hour right yes. so yeah giving quantis will definitely help you in that yeah also try to be confident while you're uh, explaining your approach try to cover all the scenarios all the things where all the edge cases uh, i think all the interviews the first thing that they look at your uh, answer is the edge cases that you've covered even if at the end you are not able to complete the code if you've covered all the edge cases explained your algorithm in most of the cases uh, they give you like a green sign like you can hmm. clear that round all right i think that covers pretty much everything about zeptos interview experience and if any one of you guys want to know about his journey how he prepared and some wonderful tips from him then we've made an entire podcast about it where we have discussed about his journey so make sure that you watch that video i'll give a link to that in the description you can check it out from there and make sure that you follow him as well on linkedin so yeah thanks for watching and thank you ayush for sharing your journey yeah thanks ashish for having me here a uh, great discussion that we had today also i hope you guys make something good out of this video you learn something and actually crack, crack great offers so follow ashish for uh, at his youtube channel and uh, this way you'll be posted uh when he uh, adds a video where he connects with you from uh, with someone from the industry and that we can like get good experience uh, good knowledge on that